Welcome back to the channel and to another 2K17 video. This, as always, is the 101. In today's video, we have got a bunch of cool stuff. We have got new moves, new roster members, new features, not to mention our very first superstar ratings. With that said, let's get this one underway, kicking it off with those brand new superstar ratings. Okay, so we now have our very first four roster ratings today, which are as follows. We have got Seth Rollins, who has a 93, Dean Ambrose, with a 90, AJ Styles with an 89, and Kevin Owens with an 86. Not too much to say here, as ratings for me aren't all that important, but still, for those that do care, our very first four superstar ratings for 2K17. Also today, via 2K's setup at Gamescom, which you can see in this picture, we now have Sheamus and Del Rio confirmed for the 2K17 roster. Now, in fairness, fairly obvious inclusions, but confirmations nonetheless. 2K17 will be Del Rio's return of the series since his last appearance in 2K15, having missed out last year with the 2K16 roster. Next up, let's turn our attention to the new moves, as well as some general news on this year's movesets. So, in terms of Seth Rollins in this year's game, he has got the Buckle Bomb and the Schoolboy Superkick as his default signatures, and a Pedigree and a Curb Stomp, yes, a Curb Stomp, as his default finishers. So, the Curb Stomp, obviously an awesome move, currently banned in actual WWE, but fear not, fans of the Curb Stomp, as this move does remain in 2K17. It is also confirmed that Seth Rollins has at least one new move this year, on that move being the Seth Rollins Superplex into the sit-out slam, which as we know is an awesome move and without doubt will be a very nice new move for this year's game. Moving on, and in terms of AJ Styles this year, who of course is making his WWE Games debut, in terms of finishers, Styles has the Styles Clash as one finisher and the Phenomenal Forearm as his second finisher. So that is right, confirmation there that for the first time in the series, we can now set spring wheel moves as finishers, so some pretty cool stuff. In terms of signature moves, he has the Calf Crusher and also some form of Neckbreaker, which I would guess is potentially going to be the Fireman's Carry Neckbreaker. It's also noted that the Styles Clash apparently does not feature the Taunt before the move, which I guess is a minor negative, but on the positive side, another new move confirmed today for AJ Styles, that move being the pretty phenomenal High Flying Spiral Tap. In 2K17, Styles also has what is called a pop-up Styles Clash, which is part of the brand new ringside finisher system, which from what I've heard means we now have four finishers, two for in the ring and two for out of the ring. Very few details available on this, but hopefully clarification soon, so stay tuned for news on that. There is also one more new move to confirm today, or I guess not a new move, but rather a new animation. And that move is said to be a newly reanimated F5 for Brock Lesnar. So if you didn't like the F5 in the previous games, then good news today, as we'll have a new animation for the F5 in 2K17. So ratings down, superstars down, and new moves down. One more thing still to touch on, and that thing is the brand new post-match breakout feature. Now I did cover this very briefly in my previous video, but again we're going to touch on it on this one. But yeah, well, this year we do have the brand new post-match breakout feature, which works the same way as last year's entrance breakouts. However, this time it is the ability to break out after the match during the superstar winning animation. So, for example, after getting a victory, you could break out and deliver a massive post-match beatdown to your already beaten opponent. Or alternatively, if you just lost the match and want to gain some revenge, you can do so by attacking the winner via this post-match breakout feature. Gotta say, a smaller addition, but a solid one, and yeah, definitely a big thumbs up from me. Once again, that is going to be it for this one. As always, stay tuned to the channel for plenty more 2K17 content coming very, very soon. And until next time, this has been 101, and I will see you all on the next one.